Good morning to all. I'm very happy to be there with you, even if uh, virtually. Uh, and indeed, uh, our aim is to help raising awareness. So even virtually, even if not together, raising awareness and connecting is important. I have the chance that a lot was said on ISA before by the former speakers. So I don't need to repeat a certain number of things, but build on that. And the aim for me is really to give you some hints and to give you the wish for you to look further and to, to try to find information and to work with that. Just as a first summary, uh, we have the great chance to be active in all areas of space activities. And some were mentioned, but there are much more. We are active in what's called uh, organized in four pillars. Uh, one pillar is science and exploration, so planetology, uh, astronomy, uh, human spaceflight, microgravity. Some was mentioned this morning by, by Claude. Uh, safety and security is the new pillar that covers the space safety in space and making sure that the infrastructure will still uh, work. Uh, debris were mentioned also this morning. Uh, the environment of the Earth, it's also support to natural disasters and how space can support. And also what is linked to cyber and making sure that the infrastructure would be available. The third pillar is the classical one that was quite addressed this morning on applications with Earth observation, of course, navigation and telecommunication. And in order to be able to have all these uh, activities and all these satellites, of course, you need enabling and support that is launchers, that is operations of satellites and assist technologies. And all these elements uh, are contributing to what can be done to support economic growth and to support sustainable development. All in all, our 2020 uh, budget is 6.7 billion euro. Uh, indeed, we have 22 member states and uh, Switzerland is one of them because we are not an agency of the European Union. And out of our budget, 85% at least is going back to industry. So there is really many, many opportunities, even if a lot are with large, uh, large uh, satellites. I cannot go on without some examples on the COVID, uh, the impact of COVID on economy. And this is a website that was uh, developed by ESA and the European Commission on Earth Observation uh, that uh, has done some analysis with Earth Observation data of the impact of the economy. And just giving you two examples. So one example, I took the one in Switzerland, uh, the Zurich Airport that shows the number of uh, flying airplanes. And you can see the impact uh, on that. So from Earth Observation, the impact on, uh, on the navigation. And another example that is uh, in uh, Milan. If, yes, uh, the commercial centers and the number of parked cars in the commercial centers in Milano. So shows also this effect. So a lot can be obtained from, from uh, space uh, on, uh, on what's happening. But it's not only Earth observation, it was also mentioned earlier. Uh, it's also uh, here giving examples on navigation and telecommunication. These were open calls that were sent, uh, supported by UK and Italian space agency. The example on the left is uh, having satellite communication that helps drones delivering medical supplies, uh, reaching, uh, having some secure air corridors uh, and uh, delivering uh, vaccine or equipment uh, limiting the, the connection and um, contact between people. And on the right, there are many different projects, but one of them is uh, developing videos uh, for young people and children to help them uh, on the perception of the pandemic and, uh, and the psychological effect of the pandemic. These are uh, modifiable videos so that the children, the child can choose uh, and can make selections and navigation uh, information was used to tailor the content to the location as the pandemic conditions depend on the region, they depend on the, the, the conditions, uh, so it's, it's targeting uh, it to the exact location where the, the young uh, person is and also supporting streamlining communication in health system. There are many more examples, but just to give you, to give you some. Uh, now, of course, some of our aims and uh, working on that is working with the non-space sector. And when I say non-space sector is out of the traditional space industry and large and medium-sized companies. And we have two angles at ESA. One is uh, uh, on the user side and on the provider side. On the user side, we want to understand the needs and identify the synergy, be able to support 
the preparation of future program based on the needs, the bottom-up approach, and not only on what are the technological interests to develop new uh, new equipment. Also helping developing the drone sim sector, the awareness, where we'll concentrate a bit on that uh, later. Uh, so this bottom-up approach, we are working on it uh, these days to prepare the next council at ministerial level uh, that we get the next funding in 2022. And, uh, and it's quite, uh, quite interesting on that. And it's addressing all types of actors at all types of levels. So it's really uh, being as wide as possible, including specific actions towards the uh, NGOs and, and their potential needs. Uh, an example linked to Earth observation, uh, I don't know if you know about the FILAB uh, that was created in, uh, in Nesrin in, uh, in Italy, uh, which is a, a way to develop um, together, I mean, these are experts and external experts, the future of Earth observation uh, to, to really stress on innovation. Innovation was mentioned, uh, was mentioned earlier. Uh, and uh, many things really that can uh, that can be done. And it was mentioned also, if I remember well this morning, this uh, open data access policy that we have uh, that uh, has many different aims. So, so it's important for the students so that they can get real data and tools, important for science, important for the small companies that can uh, get the data and build products and also to the general public uh, to get information, of course, if the data is a bit uh, processed. A topic that is uh, developing in Earth observation is the question of digital twins. I don't know if some, if some of you are working on that. So we have uh, three different digital twins being uh, explored. One is digital twin Earth. So to have a model of the Earth uh, to be able to assess the impact of any different policy and also digital twin uh, spacecraft and digital twin on the ESA as an organization. Uh, going beyond uh, Earth observation, uh, there is a certain number of tools that were developed that are now grouped under what's called BAS, Business Application Space Solutions, with three main areas. One is the applications, business application, developing from Earth observation, telecommunication, navigation, human space flights. One is incubation, and uh, the Swiss uh, BIC is uh, one partner here. And one is technology transfer. And just to give a few elements, uh, on uh, for the space application, there are a certain number of ambassadors that were defined, was it based in, in Switzerland and all over, all over Europe, to be able to support companies in addressing uh, the program we have, how they could work with it, how ESA works, and how things could be done. So this is something that has to be that has to be explored. Uh, technology transfer. This is something that is uh, uh, often forgotten or people don't know. Is that many of the technologies that were developed uh, for the satellites are transferable to Earth for other uh, applications. Um, there are hundreds of them that are available in many different topics. Um, one was, I think, mentioned was linked, for example, to uh, water treatment. There are today on Earth uh, water treatment that is done from technologies developed for exploration. It's done in Morocco, it's done in Monaco, it's done in uh, Concordia, Antarctic Station. Uh, so space technology on Earth that can support, in these cases, directly the sustainable development goals. Uh, for business incubation centers, so it's the least not uh, really interesting, you can find out but here, what's interesting, it's the, the European network of the three, these three areas. So you have uh, the three, you have the, the network of business incubation centers, you have the networks of uh, innovation partners for, tech, for technological uh, transfer, and the network of the ambassadors. So uh, Europe is quite, uh, quite well uh, covered. If you do not find your way through these various means, uh, there is something that was developed that is called the downstream gateway that is supposed to be the entry point to ESA for those who do not know how to address ESA and where to find information. So this is a, this is a way they, they have also, they're also issuing some calls on some topics, for example, on smart cities or other topics. But it's really the way, uh, a place where for small companies can find their way and then be directed to the one that could, uh, that could help. We know that it's not easy for small companies. We know that sometimes there is a problem of financing, that we might have 
tools for very early cases or not. What was already developed is a website by which you can submit your ideas uh, or answer to specific campaigns. Here you have an example of the active campaigns at least of last week. I didn't check if some were closed uh, since last week. Uh, but you can also post your ideas of something new, something different. And if it is judged as necessary, then there will be the possibility to do an open call and you can imply and you can get some funding. So you have to explore that, you have to find ideas. You see that there are very different ideas. Uh, bottom right is for the building sector. Uh, you have some for the, for the exploration, you have some for solar power, you have some for whatever uh, ideas, cuts, using cuts uh, components and so on. Uh, and um, in terms of financing, so uh, all these uh, projects have different types of financing. Here I'm just mentioning uh, the uh, something that is being developed is a uh, is a work with the European Investment Bank to really address the famous Valley of Death, the various steps of creation of a company and growing a company, and be able to have the ESA backing to be able to support the de-risking. De-risking was mentioned earlier in the panel uh, to support the de-risking and support uh, the good ideas to go to the whole chain until it is. Uh, it is, uh, let's say, uh, profitable. It's it's in our gene. I mean, we are there to support European industry, so it's really something that we are doing and developing. Uh, the slide will be available. Uh, uh, it, we will be able to get them as a PDF, so don't try to read all of that. It's just that you have the information. Then, of course, I was uh, just touching it before. Uh, SDG is one of the topics. It's one of the topics where uh, we started already before the SDG was even adopted, we were working on sustainable development because we know that space activities are support to sustainable development. Um, it was mentioned earlier that uh, 13 of the 17 SDG can be supported by your observation. The 17 SDGs are supported by space activities. So Earth observation, telecom, navigation, human space flight, uh, technologies and so on. And we have built a catalogue, to our knowledge, is the only uh, available catalogue in the world uh, that, uh, that makes this type of, uh, that gives this type of information available for free. There are more than 700 examples today, uh, all types of size of examples. You can download any selection of them and find the contact points. Uh, we will soon include uh, some 50 projects from the UK Space Agency. And the idea is to expand the catalog to all uh, activities that were at some point in time supported by one of our member states. Yes, and so it's uh, so it's really something that is uh, that is uh, useful to find out ideas. Uh, also important is that some of these ideas they were developed, they were tested, they were working, but they might not have gone further because the the market was not mature at the time. So you can find ideas. And my last slide is that we have also built uh, uh, web pages that are called Space for Earth by geographical area. So some of them, not all, not yet the Alps, but we will have the Alps uh, when it will have expanded. And on the health and sustainable development and energy, where you can find all last information from these activities that are linked to one of these areas. So if you are interested by SDG, just go there and you will find information and there's a Twitter account that is associated to it. So it was short, it was quick, but uh, thank you for your attention. And if there is no time for question, I can receive the question by mail that I'm sure they will, uh, we get there. Thanks a lot.